You're looking at a homemade magnetic chuck powered by a small 12 volt battery. We're going to be using a cup wheel like the one that's on here. And if you get underneath here, you can see that is a cup wheel. And we're going to take a skim off a piece of metal. This is nowhere near as powerful as the commercial versions. We're only taking a very light skim, and that's all I'm hoping to be able to use it for, just to square things up, make things nice and smooth and flat. And for that, it doesn't work too bad. We're almost uh, to the center here, and we'll retract this. And then we'll take a closer look at it to see what we've done here. Well, here's that piece of metal. I don't think we can get any more light onto it. Hopefully you can see what kind of a finish we got. I think we would do a little bit better on that finish if we had some more RPMs on the cup wheel. But as far as making it uh, level and flat, it's uh, not too bad. Here's a look inside the magnetic chuck. And a little switch in there and part of a transformer its sides and bottom are constructed out of, are constructed out of quarter inch uh, plate metal plate the same for the top i'm thinking i'd like to make that top a little bit thinner we'd get more pull power with the magnetic effect uh, these holes are the mounting holes and i have used a, a four 40 screw. That's these little guys over here to attach that top plate. Now we got our transformer <coughs> from the junk pile. It was very much like this one, uh, except this one is quite a bit bigger. And this one has a lot of center taps, as you can see by the wires. The other one was just one single coil with two wires coming out of it. So I imagine if you made a bigger one and used something like uh, this size, you might get more, more power out of it. But all I had done before I put it inside the electromagnet box was to cut the top off right across here. And uh, put it back together. If you're going to build one of these, I'd like to caution you. Be careful. Don't try to take too much off with this. It could fly right off of the, the chuck. Uh, that being said, I'm still experimenting with making things better. I like to try the, uh, the top made with brass laminations to let the magnetic field through. Uh, I'd like to also see if it'll be any better if I make that top uh, perhaps a little thinner. I am going to uh, put some sidebars on it, uh, like the commercially produced ones have, so that you can put your part up against the, the bars that run along the side to add uh, holding power to it. So I'm going to play with that, and uh, we'll see if we can improve it, and maybe we'll make another video if it improves a whole lot. If you'd like to be notified of other new modifications, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.